Anna, thanks. We want to go back to that breaking news that we told you about at the top of the newscast with that fire. Yeah, it is in El Dorado County, south of Diamond Springs, south of El Dorado. There are mandatory evacuations right now, and CBS 13's Yasmin Hassan has just arrived on scene. Yasmin, what do we know? Well, we just got out here just a couple of minutes ago, so we haven't been able to talk to that many people. But like you mentioned, there are mandatory evacuation orders under effect right now. So the sheriff's department is out here working with Cal Fire. You can see stopping any drivers trying to get any closer to the fire. And then on the other side of the road, Chuck is going to flip the camera around. You can see people coming outside their homes trying to figure out exactly what's going on right now. And as far as that fire is concerned, we are being told it's about 20 acres right now. Fire crews are expecting to have a a water line surrounding the fire within the next hour. But that being said, they are expecting to have firefighters out here all night long into at least tomorrow morning. But as of right now, they do think that they are going to be able to get everything under control this evening. And this is a remote area of El Dorado County, but there's a lot of brush in that area, and there are some homes peppered in the area. The Sheriff's Department is telling us that the uh, evacuations affect Patterson Drive from Calico Mine Road South. Uh, and then, Yasmin, any information on the evacuation center? The uh, evacuation center, they're just telling us that there's only a small amount under mandatory evacuations, but a lot of people are being told that they should leave a little farther out. That's the area we are. This is the uh, as close as we could get safely, according to the sheriff's department. But like you mentioned, there are a lot of homes in the middle of a lot of vegetation. So obviously a very dangerous situation, a combination. But the good news is, yes, it's Obviously, extremely hot out here, but there's not a lot of wind, so at least that should be helping firefighters out here tonight and into tomorrow morning. All right, and we're seeing the Firefighters Memorial Hall in Diamond Springs is where the evacuation center is right now, but hopefully it's not needed tonight. All right, Yasmin, thank you.